Me name's John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. The trouble is it's not Sunday, it's actually Friday night I'm doing the nightcap uh, because I'm going away this weekend to a steam rally uh, with Richard down at Doncaster and Deb's actually going to come along with us. Um, we're going to be camping out so it should be an interesting weekend. So when you're watching this, hopefully we'll be driving back up the year one towards home. Anyway, tonight's nightcap, I do some more work on the steam engine. Um, I had issues with the the holes that mount the column onto the base, I sort all that out. Um, quite a long video of that, I hope you find it interesting. Debs are going to come and do the draw for the little Warren Wright micrometer from last week. That'll be a nice prize for somebody to win. I'm also going to do another draw this week. Uh, this week's draw is going to be for three taper reamers or what they call repairman reamers. There's a set of them there that are quite nice. I've got quite a few of these. I do use them on all occasions. They're very handy. Once again, if you want a chance at winning the taper reamers, all you have to do is send me an email with your name. That's my email up there. Your name will go into the bucket. If your name's pulled out, I'll post these off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. It's just a, a little way of me saying thanks very much for all the, the help and support I've had with my channel over the years. Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. Well, it's getting a bit cooler here, so I hope everybody's all right. Tonight's draw is for a more and right micrometer. Let's sit in there. This is our bucket. Ooh. And we have Dave Lynn. In last week's video, I put some footage in of uh, a logging museum when we were on Vancouver Island in Canada. Um, I got quite a lot of comments saying that it was too short, that wasn't enough. So what I've done, I've put some more bits together. Um, I didn't actually take the film with the, the thought that I was going to be posting it, so it's not up to the, the quality I usually try and have. But I've edited it, uh, I've put it together, some interesting clips, some fantastic old machinery. Um, so machinery I wish I could bring home, but unfortunately I couldn't. Anyway, I'll put that on towards the end. I hope you find it interesting. In last week's video, I had the steam engine running quite nicely. One problem I did have though, was lining up this vertical casting with a base. The holes have already been drilled. They were drilled a long time ago. And the holes are sort of 3 8 with a little bit of wiggle about. The holes aren't round. They're not lined up properly. So what I did, I clamped it all together using 8mm bolts, so there was plenty of movement. Measured as best I could, and I had it running nice and free and smooth. So this casting is now in its final position where it's going to go with that. What I intend doing is mounting the mill machine and go straight through there. You have a 7 16 or even a half inch milling cutter. And then I can machine some really tight fitting dowel bolts to go in there actually make a bolt that's going to be a good fit in that hole so if I drill one, clamp it in, get all four drilled I can clamp it in position and that should be good to go I'll zoom in, you can see the shape the holes are you can see they're not round or oval and that they're not lined up um, it's no good trying to drill it freehand, it's going to have to be drilled on a machine I've got a piece of one inch silver steel mounted in there. What I'm going to do is drill the end of this and mount the miller cutter into there. Obviously, do that on the lathe. Clamp this down, then I'll be able to drill or at least bore that hole out, hopefully, nice and smooth and clean. And that's in so it shouldn't flex that much, it's just cast iron. So if I take my time, I'm sure I'll be able to get an acceptable result. You can see it from your angle there. And what I'll probably do is lock the lock the quill off and use the table to I need to spend a bit of time squaring things up because the bottom of that is not machine flat by any stretch of the imagination. 
I don't really want to take the column off here again so I'll have to try and square things up as, as best I can just to get those four holes drilled right I've had a little bit of a change of plan what I've done is I've drilled and reamed four doll pin holes through there so I've got four tight fitting dolls in there now which means that this is going to go back together in exactly the same place so I can take the upright off turn the base over and machine the bottom flat if I do undo it it's just going to come back and haunt us so at least now with those four doll pins in there it's got to go back in exactly the same place these are just drilled freehand and reamed and they're a real, a real nice fit and I would imagine that when, when this was probably started possibly a hundred years ago if they had had five mil Double pins and remods, I'm sure they would have used them. Anyway, the holes will be the holes are a little bit of fill on the holes and nobody will know they're there. <laughs> Except probably a hundred thousand there was. Anyway. So we'll take the top off the bottom now, machine the bottom of that flat, and then we can go from there. One thing I did notice is this, this cast iron uh, drilled beautifully, slowly and soft, nice and clean. And I've got the, the base set upside down so I can <coughs> machine these level, they're a mile off level. I might as well do it when it's stripped down this far. I'm just going to put one fan bar straight across the, straight across the centre. Be more than that it would. Cast in, it's nice and soft, and I'm just going to take my time machining it. Can't afford any disasters with this because it is absolutely irreplaceable. It's lying there nice and flat, no rock and so on. Should be good to go. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough travel that way. Uh, it takes us to a bolt there, which is not a problem. It means you can turn it around to finish it off. It's not super critical. Um, this face is 100% level, where I'm going to get as near as I can. A nice big one inch cutter on there, so I'll be running it nice and slow. I'll dial in probably a 30 foot and then do the same on the other side. Right, 
25, that should be enough, I lock the chair off at that. Just want to have a quick measure just to make sure that we're 86.57 Three and a half in there I want to take some more because it's not. I've taken that 20 off each end. It's going to really hard. Right, so basically now that's all at the same height and I've just got these two pads to do. I'm set a zero on the Z axis it's locked off anyway. Move some things off, turn it round, machine those two bits, and then we can get back on the door or we're gonna do in the first place. So this is the lower one. But it's gonna get it's gonna get most of it. Just one little bit on right on the edge of the pad, it not make any difference at all that, that'll tighten down no problem. It's quite a lot to come off there, it'll probably take it in one cut, that's something very, very gentle with it, of course. I think we've got clearance all around. Yeah, these are really curved away to the edges. It's just the way it's been cast, that's all. Just this last little bit now. Right, that's great. 
just a job. Right, that's fine. So now we've got these two faces nice and flat and level. You can turn it over, make a spot drill or a cutter, drill their holes out to 760. With having the dowels fitted now, I can use a standard bolt. What I've done, I've bought four 716 CONC bolts to hold it down. I'm sure I'll agree that they actually look a lot better than the, the metric equivalent, that's 10 mil. But the 716 CONC, it's a bigger, heavier nut. It's actually a smaller head. It's a 5 8 head as opposed to a 11 16th or a 17 mil. They just, they just look better for the particular application. I'm lucky I've got a nut and bolt stockist near me that do stock a lot of imperial sizes. Good evening everybody, I hope you're all okay. Uh, tonight's draw is for a more and right micromica. <coughs> What's the matter? <laughs> it's not a... What is it? A micrometer. Micrometer. Hi everybody, I hope you're all... Do you want to see something else instead of my chromatic?